Hi, we're down here in the Crutchfield Labs today. We're going to have a couple of our advisors come down and do some headphone listening with the Dragonfly digital to analog converter. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to tell them they're going to be listening to music that's from different sources. But actually, the only difference is going to be the Dragonfly. We have ripped CDs to lossless files, 44.1 files. Uh, so basically the same audio fidelity as a regular CD out of the computer but one directly out of the headphone jack of the laptop and one coming through the Dragonfly. We're going to see if they can pick out the differences that the Dragonfly makes in terms of sound quality. We're going to have them listen to things like uh, bass definition, vocal imaging, and instrument separation. Can you switch back to A like right now? Now switch back to B. The bass and the vocals, which I thought sounded great when it started, uh, definitely got better when we switched to B. When you go to B, I can find the bass. I can hear it. I don't have to work to listen for it. Uh, and the, the vocals also seem to open up a little bit. They were a little clamped down, uh, mm -hmm. a little sort of you know, held back on A. but. Wider, uh, wide open and spacious on, on B. I like the, I like the vocals and the bass better on B on that one. Okay. Wow. I mean, and there was clearly a difference mm -hmm. um, in both songs. It was, easy, it was easier for me to pick it out on that second song. Um, but uh, I, I was expecting, you know, I've seen DAX. I took home a DAC recently that was this big. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I could clearly hear a difference on my home system. Um, but to think that you can make that kind of difference with something this small, right. it's pretty impressive. First one was obviously louder, uh, but uh, it didn't seem like it was as wide. It seemed like it was a little more compressed. The instruments were closer together. Mm -hmm. And I thought the vocal was overmodulated in a couple places. It kind of sounded a little distorted mm -hmm. on the top end. Uh, th the clarity of the string instruments was really clean on the first part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, the second part, firstly, me me immediately noticed a drop out in the volume. But I mean, as far as the the definition, the closer I listened, I thought that was better. I thought it was a wider sound stage. I thought it sounded better that way. Mm -hmm. uh, the the kind of harshness in the vocal was kind of gone. Yeah. So that's that was, what I thought was interesting. You were still able to, you know, despite yeah. the volume differences, to pick out those differences. Oh, yeah. It was, it was, it was obvious. If I could pick it out, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, pretty impressive. That was cool. So as you can see, our advisors were able to easily pick out the difference that the Dragonfly DAC made with their digital audio files and the headphones that they've been auditioning. What's really impressive about the Dragonfly is that it's so small, yet it can really make a big difference in the sound quality you get from your digital audio files. You pop it into a USB port on your computer and you're going to get really good sound out of your headphones and it's going to make your digital audio files sound really good. If you have any questions about DACs or headphones, feel free to give one of our Crutchfield advisors a call.